All right, welcome back to the Magic Corner. Appreciate you clicking on that thumbnail because you wanted to learn the Queen's assistance just in time for Mother's Day, and why not? Uh, for this trick, all you'll need is a regular deck of cards. Uh, we are using the product Red from Theory 11. The slights you're gonna need are just two, a false cut or a false shuffle, and uh, a pinky break. So. We'll go over that a little bit. And those are just two of the basics. And the setup, you'll start with two black queens on the table. You'll start with the two red queens on the top of the deck. And that's it. So now that you know all that, let's just dive right into it. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, you start again with the two queens, the black ones, on the table. The two red queens are on top of the deck. Now, you're going to do your false cuts, your false shuffles. You are going to keep those two queens on top of the deck. Okay, however you want to do it, it's really up to you. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just keep those two queens, the red ones, on top of the deck. You'll have Penguin pick a card. Now, as they're doing so, I usually just get the break there and spin it across. So you're in that situation there. Because what's happening is now you're going to be placing the card, it appears in the middle of the deck, but you're just putting it underneath the pinky break. So now it's the second card. So you're in this situation right here. At this point, you're just giving it a few cuts and you're getting the break after that first cut. Give it a couple more cuts, square up the deck. Because what's happening is you're going to take one of these cards and put it face up at that break and then just close it up. So it just looks like you're sliding it in toward the bottom, okay? Oh, yeah. That's right. Because you do want to slide it in toward the bottom. And then you can have the spectator kind of put their card in at the top. So you really do have this situation of about 20 cards in between the queens, okay? Now, I was taught to take the top excess cards first, but I like doing the bottom first, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, as I slide it in, the queens are actually there. There's one on the top, several cards, about 20 of them. And as I'm showing the cards in between, I'm letting three cards pass because you want to get a break under the next three cards on the bottom. One, two, three. As you square them up, you act as if you are taking all the cards on the bottom of the queen, the excess. Showing them, and then taking the excess off the top of the queen. So now it appears you have several cards in between the queens. Don't go all the way to the bottom. You don't want to flash. You're in this situation here. You do have three extra cards on the bottom of the queen where that pinky break was. But it appears as you do this and spread the cards, don't flash, it appears that the two queens have all these cards sandwiched in between. So now the trick is pretty much self-working. Have the penguin or spectator cut the deck and now go through the same process. But do the top cards first. Take the excess on top of the queen, show the cards and put them aside. And now take the excess on the bottom of the queens. Spread the cards out and show it. Now you're in this situation with three face down cards in between the two queens. Square them up nice and slow, pick up the cards, drop the middle card, then drop the two face up queens. You basically have your queens, they have found their assistance in helping find your selected card. Okay, so this situation here, okay, you're, you're, you're doing this. And then you're turning this card over. So it's a pretty neat trick. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, um, the comments, just go crazy. Uh, but we do appreciate you watching, and that's fun to do. Practice it up.
And uh, don't forget to subscribe and, of course, like this video. So on behalf of Penguin and myself, uh, thanks for watching. And until next time, we will see you around the corner.